greeted by Bianca Belair, Seth Rollins, the Street Profits. Look at that, they're gonna be taking over. SummerSlam. I've already got the SummerSlam 2024 shirt rocking. One of my, I think it's such a cool shirt. I mean, look at this thing. I'll do an unboxing at a different time. Uh, bittersweet day. It'll be great to get back, see the kids and Ari, but uh, certainly also at the same time, it's so sad. You, you put so much planning and excitement into these weekends and uh, they're great when they come and then just like they're, they're gone. Uh, but memories that'll last forever. Such good times with uh, great people and uh, so great to that you know, my little wrestling YouTube channel and Alex's podcast can bring people together and uh, be able to now have two different wrestling trips in a span of the uh, last couple of years and uh, have uh, now, you know, legitimate friends. And it's been, uh, it's been really cool. So hopefully you've enjoyed the vlog. We'll vlog today as our travel day back from Cleveland to Long Island and uh, it should be a great day. And uh, then we'll say so long, but hey, on the YouTube channel, there's always more content coming your way. First stop of the day, we're going to Apple Jack's Toys. Go check out some vintage toys, and uh, here we go. Let's check it out. Really, do we have the card just have like days of trying to Oh, that's really cool. Wow. We can definitely get touched in like a day or two. Yeah, that's cool. Some old school. Uh, that's so cool. And here we go. The creme de la creme. I had this toy box back in the day. Had a couple different uh, figure rings set up back here. Every era. Look at that Hasbro there with that black and silver pants, Shawn Michaels. And you've got your box figures here. Commissioner Foley, I didn't even know they made Commissioner Foley. A comma, the Rocky stuff, and then up here you have the uh, the retro packs. These are so cool. If you're a Star Wars fan, like this is the absolute heaven for you. I mean, just tons and tons of different era Star Wars. I do see that ET up there, by the way, very cool. Um, but just like Star Wars stuff for days. And despite naming my son Kylo after uh, the great Kylo Ren, I'm not huge on Star Wars, but if you are, I mean, this is incredible. Reba looks like Alex is. Uh, he's gotten Tito Santana. Very cool figure there. Yes, yeah, so he that is awesome. Um, not for the Undertaker collection technically, but I have a Survivor Series '90 collection. Oh, and he that's was when Undertaker debuted. And this and is like the exact gear he wore that. This is pretty much what he wore, and he's in the, the final Ultimate Survi Ultimate Survival Survivor. match. Yeah. So, so I'm not getting somebody from every match on that show, yeah. but I have the main Hogan events. and Warrior. I got put Tito. You got to put him with them. Yeah. He had a face that could get in there that could be eliminated too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was what Tito was there for. He's got the long flowing locks there. Yeah. I remember watching that back as a kid and being just so surprised Tito survived. And right. I was like, what? They got Tito. He's in the main event with Warrior and Did Hogan. You see? He's like a high school history teacher now. Is he Isn't really? Crazy? Yeah. Wow. El Matador. Very cool. <laughs> Uncle Dave, I don't think they made Blueberry because he don't, he don't have legs. They've got Hogan back there. <laughs> Stand up. Hogan and Mr. Right T. There. Warriors somewhere. The road oh, warriors. Warriors. In there. oh wow! Yeah, this is their not for sale taker. personal collections of stuff. I got old Beetlejuice back there. Main man himself. A lot of Ninja Turtles. Oh, there's Warrior. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. They've got. You can't see him, but John Cena is back there hiding behind some of the. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> MJ dropping the uh, dropping the slam right there. That is so cool. They have. How about uh, the Noid down here? Avoid the Noid. Wow. Avoid the, Noid. the Twinkie Kid or whatever. Twinkie the Kid. Wow. Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> hmm. 
probably look at this all day and just keep finding new things. Yeah, little uh, Easter eggs in there. Yeah, like here's Sarge over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the uh, peanut Peanuts. characters back there, yeah. The little peanut gallery. Yeah. <laughs> it's very neat. I see that cool stuff I'm thinking of. Oh, the dinosaurs? Yeah. yeah. Alex Lee picked up a pack of WCW cards. Very cool. Yeah, right? made it here potentially our final stop unfortunately my flight was just canceled so who knows where i will end up now uh but for now this is our final stop at the forest city shuffleboard really cool place they've got a ton of games a ton of things to do here you know me i've got to try i've got to try the uh basketball here at some point um yeah very cool and uh we are going to try our hand over at the shuffleboard. Now, I have not shuffleboarded. I've done it like, you know, your one-off game here and there, but uh, a lot of skill and uh, that goes into this. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, yeah, who knows? Our hand here in the shuffleboard. Randy got a good one there. Yeah, he doesn't have points, but it stays there. If anyone hits it, it can no, count. It's, it's crossed the line. It's crossed the line. It's crossed That's the one point. Oh, as long as it goes to. Oh, cool. There's one over there. Oh, yeah. neat. All right, I'm going to give it a try here. Don't be running into me. Oh, barely got it. Oh no, it didn't get there, right? No, so where, line. where's the line? There's that you another line to? over there. That's hard to see. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I'm blue. So I'm but if try. you give me a whack. Yeah. Oh, I think you might. Oh no! We knocked us both out. So if I knock his out. It's done. All right, let's see. But I'm not going to try to knock you out. You could knock I... me into the two or three. Yeah. Right? yeah. Oh, you are supposed to be a heel. Okay. Uh... Oh. Oh. Wow. Look at that. Here we go. Oh, it's getting good close. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, we're right there. And I got one more left, right? Right, right now, yours is a little bit ahead of his. Oh, so wow. He would, he would get the one. So I'd get the one. You would get the one right now. But and, this, and this is the last one, right? You, now you, in theory, could just suicide yourself. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. Or you could just, because it's practice. Yeah, yeah, I'll just go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I won't be that guy. Though I guess that's a good strategy. Well, I was that guy naturally. Oh, wait. What a... What a play. Oh my goodness, no way! Oh my gosh. Wow. Head, hang, head, head in shame. Ah, uh, brutal. So for the final meal, again, decision pending on the ride home, I've got mozzarella sticks, fantastic, and mini corn dogs. I love this. Update, I did get uh, a car, so I canceled, my flight has been canceled, and I'll be driving from Cleveland, Ohio to Long Island, New York this evening. Ready for it, should be an eight hour drive, gonna listen to some podcasts on the way home, including the Talk and Taker podcast, I'm gonna be catching up, binging on that, and uh, should be uh, an all right drive, what can you do? Uh, I, I was saying that if the pay-per-view was on a Sunday and Raw Monday, I would have said, the extra night and just gone raw, but with raw not even being in town, not in Baltimore, so it ain't happening. And uh, instead, I'll be making the long drive back. Probably won't get to see the kids till the morning, which is pretty disappointing. But that is what it is. Making the best of it, and we are still here at the Forest City Arena, right here for Forest City Shuffleboard. And uh, it is Uncle Dave and Randy against myself and Alex. A last one, we were able to get the win. And uh, I did all of that while we were while we were playing. I was renewing my driver's license, so I wouldn't have any issues getting a car. Um, and now we are in game two, locked in a six-six heat. It should be interesting to see who gets this one. To nine. Randy and Uncle Dave on the way back here. I'll get I'll get everyone on the uh, little gimmick here. Oh, 
man, perfect. Tommy going for the win against Randy and Uncle Dave. It's very tense right now. Oh, Randy playing aggressive. Got the twofer. Gotta knock his off. Oh, great play. Exactly what we need. All right, well, we've reached the end of our time here in Cleveland. Randy, you've got another week-long vacation. Now I go to dad mode and we do family dance. There you go. Well, thanks for driving us to the airport. Hi, Great final day here. Uh, my journey just begins as I'll be taking that long drive from <laughs> Cleveland. Road, That's right. On the road again. Well, it's not on the road again, though. It's turn, turn the, the page. page. You gotta blast that. <laughs> That's right. I'll have to do it. Uh, so you can keep logging in with me as I now navigate this journey <laughs> back home. That's right. But we will say so long to Alex and Randy. And we'll say, and I get it this time, take your easy. Take easy. All right, Bad Hair Day Jones, what's going on? I finally got the car now. It was a nightmare situation, but <clears throat> on the road again, here I come. And now in beautiful Parma, Ohio, home place and birthplace of the Miz, heading over to Walmart uh, because um, the car they gave me did not have a, only has a USB cable port. So uh, I need to go get a new cable port. So I figure I'll fill up on some drinks and some snacks and then finally hit the road and see how far we can get to before we need to go get some gas. So a little bit of a pain, certainly a pain situation. I'm not sure I've ever driven a straight eight hour. And that's what I'm looking at here. I'm sure I'll probably stop like six times. <laughs> so probably more like 11 hours for me, uh, but we'll see. Uh, keep logging it. You know, I had to check out that figure section. I got Cowboy Brock Lesnar here. Um, who else is there? Oh man, Chelsea Green, Terry Gordy, Bronson Reed. This is one of the cooler figures I've seen here. It's the Undertaker One Dead Man Show figure. And I'm thinking this is actually, ooh, wow, Grayson Waller, Solo Sokoa, Cora Jade. Really good set. But uh, I'm thinking this is actually from when he showed up at Raw 30. I think that's why he has this setup like this. That is pretty cool, though, especially coming off the heels of going to the One Dead Man Show. All right, we are now 384 miles away from... Long Island, New York. It is 6.22 p.m. So we moving. We're moving and we're grooving. Uh, still got a little ways to go, but we have officially touched down in beautiful Pennsylvania. Uh, uh, pursue your happiness, I believe, is the quote of the state. Uh, so we'll get there. Uh, hanging in there little by little. And uh, I think at some point we'll have to take a little stop ski for some gas. So maybe we'll even grub out somewhere. Who knows? But... Uh, 623 right now. I want to push just as far as we can here until we absolutely need gas. We're at about a half a tank now. So we got a little ways to go, but all signs are pointing good. We're holding up well. We've got ourselves a little cough ski and we're on our way. All right, so now it is about 8.30. We're still on our way back to New York. And I ran into some folks who also went to SummerSlam. Do you guys enjoy the show? It was great. Yeah, it was good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How long are you guys away from home now? Like an hour and a half, still two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I am about four, so I will see you guys soon. Good to meet you and uh, take care. Later. All right, now it is 11.20. I've got about two hours left here, and I am doing everything I could to just bang it out. It has been one of the longest rides ever, and I feel like the state of Pennsylvania is the longest, windiest roads of all time dark as can possibly be not a street light out yeah this has been one heck of a journey today
American Airlines, I don't know what you were thinking. I have not seen one raindrop throughout this entire journey. I could have been home for the last six hours. Ay, uh, gosh. 1.23 in the morning. I am finally back here in Long Island, New York. What a drive. Absolutely insane. Uh, I left uh, Cleveland at 4, and I got back here in 9 hours and 23 minutes. Uh, just absolute madness. But at the end of the day, it's with the stuff like this that you remember at the wrestling trips. You know, in 10 years from now, when I look back at, you know, uh, SummerSlam 2024, I'll say what a show it was. And I'll always remember when American Airlines canceled my flight day of and was planning to leave me stranded for three days. And I decided, screw it, and rent myself a little car here and head back uh, and do the drive. Longest drive I've ever done in one sitting. Uh, but you know what? It was kind of cool uh, in a weird way. Uh, you know, got to see a lot of uh, fans who had gone to SummerSlam up and down my journey, all the different stops, said hello, stopped to talk for a few minutes about... Uh, our experiences at the show, and that's just the beauty of a wrestling trip. Uh, really good times. I, the ride itself was not horrendous. I, thanks to the band Sleep Theory, who's awesome. Thanks to Fall Out Boy, who I didn't realize is still making fantastic music, but they really are. Uh, some great podcasts along the way. Talking Taker, shout out Post Wrestling, uh, who also did their own trip to Cleveland for this event. I got to listen to some of their experiences. Uh, just fun up and down and a uh, great way to end the trip though uh, sure did take the entire damn day till next time everybody dubs up always see y'all soon